Hey guys, Chaos Necros here, and like I promised in the Minecraft vid, uh, this is Monster Hunter World. Now, a few things before I st actually start. I need to say a few things. Just like the ARC video, I have to have Monster Hunter World at low quality. The reason being, my computer cannot take a lot, so yeah, it's not it's not going to be the best quality, but hopefully it'll be a lot better than ARC. <laughs> like, I mean, it's Capcom. They have a lot of their stuff. Is I mean, look at the little wigglers there. They, they look pretty good, despite everything. Although I think I can see the bottom of them through the dirt. So, beef. So, I know you're... Rather than go through a sto... Now, I can go through the story missions and all that, which is fine. But, um... I'd rather not go through things like Nergigante again, per se. At least, unless I'm with other people. So, I'm gonna save those for later. So maybe for the first episodes, for the first episodes, I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna just do a little exploration, like, like we're gonna. I'm gonna basically go through with my public character and do some expeditions. As you can see, this is my this this character is based off one of my care one of my OCs known as Soli. I've done a few pics of her before, so hopefully. So, yeah, the little cat is based off an actual cat I have named Cinnamon. She's so cute. It's so cute. Uh, and yeah, so here's what, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this it's gonna be private, so nobody's gonna like join in or anything. So yeah. Now I already I'm already a high rank as you can see, like from the fact that I'm at 14. And I could technically take on, and I'm at the point where I can take on like some elder dragons, like Kushala Daora. I'm working on, I'm working on unlocking the mission for, I believe it's Teostra. And then I have the mission, and the Rotten Veil. Vale, I think it's going to be one of the newer monster elder dragons that are there. Oh. I don't know why it does that. Even though I haven't, I didn't even press tab or anything. It's, it acts like I did for a second there. Before anything, though, I'm gonna show something cool. Okay, so here's the thing. This is my this is my room. It's the high quality room. But what I didn't realize until now is that you could actually have pet little animals that you capture throughout the through your expedition or missions or whatever, and place them in the room. So I have like a little shepherd hair right here. I have a gek, a glue gep, glue gepo or something there. I have a bliss bill there. Some butterflies up there. I have some highland coral birds up there. Another gecko there. I have a wiggler in the pot. I have these woodland teraxes. Some butterflies over there and over there, flying about. And I have an omen fly here and a gecko up there. And in the water, so cute. I have these guys swimming about, and an angler thing, which I actually have. The looking at them, it reminds me so much of the gobel. So it's like I don't know. Maybe they're like the baby forms of gobel. Like we, like they migrate. Like the gobels maybe migrate here to give birth and they and then it's like they the babies like grow up and eventually head back to the old world and grow up to become whatever and thus the cycle starts again but yeah it just it's a theory of mine because it makes sense I mean elder dragons and other monsters are migrating to the new world and it's not really know why elders are apparently coming here to die but so maybe the maybe just like other maybe like other animals they come here to lay eggs and die kind of thing. Maybe that's actually what happens. It's not that they necessarily come to die. Maybe they come here to start the next generation. Like maybe Zora Magnaros came to actually lay an egg lay, to start up the next Zora Magnaros child. But anyway, if we're going to we're going to start off in the ancient forest. We're going to start off in the ancient forest. And from the looks of it, there's a Pukey Pukey, an Anjanath, and a Rathalos there. 
and flower beds are flourishing, and there's apparently the endemic life researcher is there with a mission for me. With a little job for me. Usually involves, like, harvesting or capturing animals and stuff. But yeah, we're just gonna explore. We're just here to explore, so... I'm gonna have the ghillie thing ready. Even though I could do, do with some mats. Honestly, hoping this is coming out good. It's a bit janky, but it. I mean, the, this recording is a bit janky, but it. At least I can still move. It's not like I'm freezing up. All right. All right. So for this tour, I'm going to start off here at one, and we're gonna go through all the numbers. So we're gonna go through two. Right, we're gonna go one. Three, four, a bit through eleven, then five. We're gonna start at the outer rim. That's what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Start at the outer rim, then go, then go inward. Once we're here, so we're we'll go, we're gonna go toward fit toward here, and you know, explore the inner workings. Like, uh, oh, that is one. So. Yeah, and then eventually go up toward here. So off we go. Alright, so in So in the ancient forest you'll find Apanath Apanath, which which you'll find in almost every monster hunter game. These Parasauroph Parasaurophilus mixed with sauropod like dinos are always the key source of raw meat. And you also find here Bliss Bills. Which is on my room. There's also a, some footing to tell you that there's an anginath nearby. You'll find items like red pits, which are good for shooting at the monsters to get their attention. And I forget what that is. I think that's a red vulture or something like that. And here we are in area three, a more grassy section. No berries, good for for counteracting uh, elk. Afflictions like like water blight or ice blight or, or such. And here's four. Ooh, a carcass. The engine. It's always good. It's good to collect these things because you never know what you may find. Another an engine footprint. Down there's a nice little beach where you see some cacastodons or whatever they're called. And then. Over here, there's a Wiggly Itchy, which... a oh, Wiggly Litchy, which... These are good for boosting your stamina a bit. So, if you see, like, as you're walking by one, just go and grab it, because then... Because, if, because you'll have get a little boost in stamina. Not like... Not permanent, even though your stamina even goes down anyway. Now we're heading for five. And here we are. Uh, here we have those weird guys. I have no idea. Wait. Excuse me a minute, boys. Interesting. All right. Excuse me, boys. I'm trying to get out of here. All right. So this wooded area is like where you'll commonly find monsters like the Tobi Hadachi and, and the Rathian come about. Maybe even the Anginath at times, but other than that, this is other than that is just a place. Pukey pukey pukes. Toxic pukes. Why not? Alright. Up there would be the is the is the camp. And, I, and according to the minimap, a Pukey Pukey is actually coming this way. Yep, there she is. Sorry, it's going away. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, actually go up. Because I don't want to fight him right now. 
this, we're just exploring. We're not actually fighting right now because it's, it's sort of like we're sort of like we're taking a tour of the place before doing anything. All right. This is actually, and also this is actually a good vantage point to attack monsters from because they don't see you and. You can get sort of get the drop on them, per se. Look at her. She's pretty. Oh, 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 shoot. Get out of her sight. She's a, she's a cute. She's a cute. Is oh, whoa. Okay. No. Yeah, I definitely need to be careful. I don't want to get her to. F I don't want to fight on my hand right now. Let's just do this for a while. Darn it, the leaves got in the way. <laughs> Damn it, I can't get the. This place is too, has too many leaves. She does attack me. There are spore. There are ways I can avoid her. Like I could use the spore puffs as a sort of a smoke screen thing. Right. Right, so she's going that way. So we're good. Now we're gonna head this way. Take this off so I don't have to. So that I can recharge it just in case I run into Anjanath. Because Anginess will attack, will attack on sight. Kind of like T-Rexes, they, re they rely on you, on movement. Oh, here's the mucus. Funny how I mentioned that. Anginess footprint. Right. Another footprint. And there are some jar guns. They're basically the jaggies of this world right now because they didn't, they haven't, they didn't put in the jaggies yet. I would really like to see them, like, and find a great jaggy for that matter. Like I kind of missed that. But in any case, right now we're, and we're oh, looking at the mini map. We're actually a little, we're actually safe because we're, because the Anjanath is actually south of us, so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, interrupting uh, our little tour. Here we are at area 8, where we have more Jarguas. Oh, and, and some Apanath. Jarguas don't... Jarguas don't necessarily go after Apanath, but they'll probably go after, like, the carcasses that are left behind by, by the bigger prey, because that's probably how they run. Oh, look, a, a, Rath a carcass made by a Rathalos. Very nice. Now with that, we have we can we have a sighting of the Rathalos. We can tell where the Rathalos is, which means there was there is going to be no surprise visits all of a sudden. All right. So next up is Area Nine, which is actually a fun place to go. We're fighting the Anjana because you can, it, depending on what your weapon is, you can use it to your advantage in a sense. Anjanath Carcass, for that matter. Very interesting. And more investigations at it. Alright. So yeah, here's here's Area 9. This is essentially a place where you can utilize the slopes to your advantage. There's also some paratoads down here, which can stun the monster for, for a little bit. And thus, thus you have a bit... And thus you can use... You can attack them while they're... While they're you know, down. Result. And as you just saw, I just used a wedge beetle, which allows me to traverse areas at times. If you if you time it right, you could actually do be do it expertly and get across without any issues. And now we're gonna go into the inner section, places where there's like where you find you find 
underground stuff. Oh no, this just leads to the center. Right. Alright, so this area to crap. Crap, 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 crap. Gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. So, even a big monster won't be able to find you in this for some reason. So, always be ready to ha to hide here if your ghillie mantle's not ready to go. Alright, with them gone, we can continue. So yeah, this is area 2. This is where you'll likely f where you'll find a great jar Jarga or or the Anjanath will come crossing, which is according to- which according to it is actually right behind me. I need to hide. There's the big boy. Poor girl, I don't know what- I don't know the gender. I mean, Rathians and Rathos are easy to tell what their gender is. There you are, big boy. You're a beauty, aren't you? And deadly for to boot. Oh. Man, there he was turning around. Alright, he's probably going to eat. That's probably why he's going. The underground section. I, this is this leads to where you'll find the great Jargos when he's weakened and wants to rest. Great, killing that's gonna use again. Yeah, this is where you find Great Jargus when he's like weak, wants to rest. So it's like, this is where you can finish him off if you can't finish him off before he gets here. Or if you like, it, you know, like if you, like say you have to sharpen your weapon and he scurries off. No, it's screw this, I'm just running. Alright. So the next. Next on our list, we're gonna go up. We're gonna head up into the trees. And we're gonna and to do that, we're gonna go this way. Imagine this. That's great. Hello, Shepherd Hairs. Alright, so No, that leads back to five. Never mind. Okay. So up the tree we go. Yeah. Now this now this goes one of two ways, but we're gonna go straight for now because we're gonna. I want to be able to show you all of the spots. Here is the bottom of where you'll. Of a, of a spot where you'll fight Rathalos. As you can tell by the gashes and scales that he leaves behind, along with footprints, likely. Because he's the kind of monster to do that. And apparently he's coming up. Yep, here he comes. And as you can see by these wing drip. Wait. Oh no, he's right there. Okay, I thought for a minute there he was. Stay over here for now because. It's... Or okay. Yeah, we're basically gonna keep our distance from him. We don't want him attacking us at all. So we went straight up. Okay. Ah, okay, there we go. Rathalos has left, so we're good. I inadvertently went upstairs, so yeah. But in any case, but we'll continue from here anyway. 
Here you'll find ivy, which you, when combined with spider web, can make nets, which will be able allow you to build the trap tool, the pit trap. Mandragores are good for making other materials. And if we explore enough, and this cool place is a bunch of trees, which no no monsters can reach here, by the way. You're completely safe here. Okay, also choose the longsword. Conversely, very, very few choose the hunting horn. Your weapon ranks number five in popularity. You can have this. Huh! That's interesting to know. So most people prefer... Oh, there's the pukey pukey. That was that's it. That's an interesting fact to know. So insect blades are actually number five in weapon rank or popularity. But yeah, I mean, I use the insect blade because if it's, it's really easy to use, <laughs> I don't. Uh, it might be part of the beer that I drank for lunch. What? Oh, what? Oh, this guy, okay. I was wondering about this. Goes this way. And this way. I think we could build the camp here. Oh Look shoot, I didn't realize it! Wow! That was very helpful. Hey, come back here! You helped me find a reason. A, a camp spot! Thanks a lot! Wait, did he, did he go across? Uh, no, he didn't. And... This, this cat is making me go in places I've never been before. Whoa, this looks cool. This looks nice. Go. Wow. All right. What business do you have with the bug trappers? Okay. Fly cage. That's cool. Okay, so I'm assuming. Okay, so the flash fly cage. I'm assuming it's something that holds a flash fly in it, which will allow me to stun the monster and thus, you know, and thus be able to fight it. Wow, so much discovered in this little span of time. There we go. Ow. <laughs> that would have killed me, that prop. Oh, cool, we got- and he's- he's also, uh, he's also be- uh, gonna go with us to hunt. What's that? Ooh, a mandragora. Sweet. Mandragoras are always good for, for catching, what you get. Right, down. Show you the next spot. Which actually reminds me that this is where the Rathlos can also also is this is the Rathlos' roost. So we have to be very careful. Yep, he is asleep right now, so back up, back up before he sees us. This 
so interesting. It's honestly really cool that it's like just ooh, back up, back up, back up before he actually sees us. I have to, I have to keep doing this before he does. It's actually really cool. I actually like it that Capcom decided to make this more open world and thus we can like actually watch these monsters as they live. You know, before they leave the locale. So it's like we're seeing we're seeing the Rathalos like kit clean itself up, rest, eat, all that all that good stuff, all the stuff that would that makes it more like an actual animal. So and obviously fly off at some point. Yep, there he goes. Alright, he's flying that way, so we're good. Alright, so. Here we are. This is his roost. And here we find some dung, some scales. We also left a gash over there, but we're not gonna explore that part yet. So, well, there's a bone pile from his from this prey that he's probably brought up here. And this is actually a very awesome trap that I saw in action at one point. Like what they did was that they set it up that I guess you hit the, hit this. Yeah, okay, the Rathalos is leaving. Two monsters are leaving soon, so we're gonna be a little safer for a while. I'm gonna just see about activating it right now because I don't wanna. Since I'm not hunting, I wanna just see if it can show it off. Alright, so I'm gonna move to the side because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be dangerous. Plug her off, you stupid bug. Bugger off, you stupid bugs! to work supposedly is that you it's like supposedly the way this works is that you break it off and then there's supposedly like a landslide that's supposed to happen it's actually pretty cool and I saw it like sweep away a Rathalos off off of here <coughs> but I guess I don't know maybe maybe you have to do something like I set off an explosion or something or have the Rathalos actually hit it But whatever, I guess I guess we can't see it now. Oh well, that was a good try. And here we are, back over toward where the ra we, yeah, this is toward where the Rathalos would be. I mean, where the where you would fight the Rathalos. And there's said Rathalos right now, so we're gonna avoid him right now. This way, I suppose. Alright. So. Super glad I just avoided. I just went that way. It's probably going back to rest. Or something, I don't know. I don't understand monsters. I don't. I'm not a fluent monster person. I don't understand what they do. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Doodles for the bug. Oh no, this is okay. That's never mind. That's not the right way. We're gonna go back now. I'm, I'm a bit lost. This place can get confusing if you don't if you don't truly remember where everything is. Okay, so we're gonna jump off here, go down here, and get and also grab a flash button because those are really useful. Alright. Okay, 
left. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, yeah, this way. Okay, so yeah, this is another spot where you can fight the Rathalos. And I think, and the Anjanath also passes by here at times. So, and this is also where you can fight the to Tobi Kodachi, which is an electric, electric based monster. Basically a lot of monsters can meet up in the same place, so you might end up seeing a fight between them or something like that. It's very, it's very awesome. And around, around here the Tobi Kodachi likes to rest. Like, I think like over right there. Anjanath likes to re likes to fall asleep somewhere else. But yeah. I'm gonna go this way so we can explore a little more this way. There's areas below us that that we can use to our to avoid monsters to to run both run away from monsters and and yeah. And I don't know. Do things. Okay, yeah, this is where the Tobi Kodashi sleeps. That's I remember now. I actually remember there was a time I was hunting with someone and the Kobe and because I guess because the internet between us was terrible, we ended up killing the monster rather easily. Or at least I did, because it was like the monster would stand still. Oh well. I uh, we can't just find it. Now we're now this way. We head. we are at a area where the engine has would be could find would be able to find I mean got to close through. And now we have no puke, puke, so we don't have to worry about poison or anything. Unless we fight the Rathlos, which has poison in his talons, but uh, that's a different matter. The only question is now, what monster comes up now, next? Um, it's either a Great Jargus, uh, a Basil Geese, because this is high rank, or a Rathi, or an Azur Rathalos. Either way, it's never usually a good thing. Alright, so... Good way to tell if a Jargus is coming. Or... I'm leaving, because I just realized I'm right- I'm in the path of an Anjanath! Like, good grief, I didn't even realize I was there. Like right there. Good grief. Okay. Goes through there. And we're good. Alright, so it's gonna be a bit before the next monsters come out. I'll probably find clues to what they are at some point. Who knows, maybe it's maybe I'm right, and maybe it's a great Jargus and the and uh, Azur Rathios. Maybe a Basil Geese. If it's a Basil Geese, I'll definitely know if I see like these very unique scales. Also, there is... Oh, I already collected that. There is a unique... Didn't realize he saw me. Okay, running, 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 running. Grab this. There is one more spot I should show before before anything because of, like before I end this because you know it's it's one of the key spots. It's a nice little area to run around in, you know, to hold to fight fighting monsters. And I, sh I should also show off the I should also show off the area where I think I'm, I think I'm a bit lost. Or at least I, d I may not be heading the right direction for it. 
whatever. It's, I know that I know it's this way. Anginets, archfoodles. It's a bunch of anginet stuff, that's for sure. So it's not this way. Well, so there's no new monsters as of yet. This way. This is where I need to go. Okay. So go this way. And yep. And here it is. This area. This area is very nice. You have a bunch of castadons, and you also have. Oh. You also have. Have this very nice trap, which if you, if you do it just right, we'll do that. Just imagine that on a with a larger dragon or monster or whatever. Very awesome. Run, 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 run! I did not... Okay. Okay. That's a basil geese. That thing... is not something I want to fight right now. Wait, is he... Is he actually going to come after me? Are you actually gonna come after me? He's looking around, so I don't know. Okay, it's like No, he sees me! He sees me! Oh no, he was just leaving something, I don't know. Uh, oh boy, that was scary. Basil geese are no joke. They're basically brachydeos. Just with wings. Like, sheesh, was I ever scared of something like that? Although that's not entirely true. The scariest thing I've dealt with is a, is a devil joke. And I'll explain that story when I actually when I actually fight face one. All right, so I think so I think we're actually good. Like I've explored practically everything and even discovered a new spot, including a new campsite of all things. So I think this is. I think we're good. So, so yeah, this has been the Ancient Forest. I hope you guys enjoyed the somewhat tour. If you if you want to see more, if you want to see see more, leave a like, favorite, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Other than that, I'm gonna say bye.